Okay, guys, I am in bed. Um, I gotta take off my makeup and stuff. Uh, but I wanted to record my Phenomene update today. I'll put the weigh in at the end, but tomorrow's Kenny's birthday. When you'll see it, it'll already be Kenny's birthday. And I know it's just gonna be hectic around here. So I just wanted to go ahead and get the video out the way of how week two of Phenomene has been and how everything is going um so far and i am in my pjs and this shirt so goes against like the whole diet thing but best friends milk and cookie i love this shirt <laughs> was well, a sleep shirt i got it from walmart they say walmart shirts don't last i had this shirt like two three years okay so anyway week two how did it go side effects everything okay let's start with side effects i noticed um at the beginning of week two um, not that Friday, but that Saturday that I became like very angry. Um, I was angry Saturday and Sunday. And the reason why I felt like I was angry because I had all this energy that I just didn't know how to get out. So I was like in some kind of like rage and I just had to get this energy out. So I exercised a lot on Saturday and Sunday. Like I just kept walking, 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 going on walks, taking the kids for walks, taking them in the wagon, walking, walking, walking. I just had to get Get this energy off me because holding on to the energy I just had like anger built up in me so I just it's like you know when someone has roid rage or something you know what I mean but it wasn't that bad but um yeah that's what I felt so I had to get that energy out so I made sure that um I worked out and I worked out a lot um as of now I'm trying to work out a little bit every day um go on some type of walk every day do some type of exercise every day um i'm going to really focus on my exercise starting um the is it the 12th I, my last day of work is the 10th so that following monday to put myself in the boot camp because i think a lot of people i don't know if they didn't fully understand the last vlog or they didn't watch the whole vlog, they just went by the title. But I am going back to my job. I'm just laid off for seven weeks. It's a seasonal layoff. It's a seasonal active layoff that we go through every year. Um, so I have seven weeks and I'm going back to my same job. I'm not going to a different job. I'm not finding another job. I'm going back to the same place that I came from. Um, in seven weeks um, but while I'm out for the seven weeks I'm going to focus on my diet so I'm going to take myself through like a boot camp um, of workouts every day not something that's like too much where I feel like I'm doing too much but enough that I'm pushing myself to my limits for seven weeks because I want to end this year strong I, in the workout category. Um, I really do. I want to end strong and I don't want to have a, a ton of loose skin. I know I'm going to have a, lo a lot of loose skin once it's over because it's weight loss. You're going to have loose skin, but I'd rather have loose skin than skin full of fat. I mean, it, it is what it is. I mean, truth is true, you know? So yeah, that's the side effect I had this week. Um, it died down after about two days after I started working out and getting into like some type of workout and pushing myself every day to do something and walk around and, you know, exercise, um, I, that feeling went away. Like today is Thursday. I don't feel that feeling like I am back into my happy place of this is great. The medication's great and I'm happy. You know what I mean? So it's like. If you don't use that energy that's built up, then you probably will get angry like like I did. Because I told you all in the last video, I wasn't exercising like I needed to. But now that I, I incorporate that and I get some type of workout in, I don't have, I'm not as added to it, if that makes sense. Um, as far as my blood pressure, like um, I also put a clip at the end um, showing you guys how I check my blood pressure and all that. My blood pressure has not went up. Um, I am on Zyac. It is a medication for blood pressure. Um, and the thing that the doctor was worried about, my blood pressure would drop too low. That's why I have to check it at least four times a week. Um, and the machine that I use at my local HEB, it checks your pulse too. So they check both. Um, and oops, sorry about that guys. I have not had any problems with my blood pressure and I have not had any problems with, um, my heart rate. Praise God, because I know a lot of people were saying they were having um, heart problems and, you know, rapid heart rate 
I didn't have that problem. I didn't have that problem. I'm not having it yet. Um, but they said if you prolong use over the three months, you know, that's when those problems start to arise. So again, after three months, I will not be on this medication. I am only taking it for three months. And to be honest, I'm not even going to take it for three months because I go back to work January the 2nd and I want to have it out of my site, my system. So probably December 20th, that way I can get myself about two weeks off of it. I'm stopping the medication. That way I give my body enough time to do whatever it's going to do to get it out of its system. I'm going to do it so it's fully out of my system. Um, so by the time I go to work, uh, I'm working solely on my energy and what I'm doing on the natural side. Um, basically, the natural side that the doctor wants to switch me to, I'm going to be using ECGC is green tea supplements, but um, it has it's the ECGC. And it's something else. I keep forgetting the name, but they use this cactus is this cactus plant i forgot what it is dr oz recommended it um and it's another pill that she wants me to take but it has to be like the pure cactus leaf whatever the one is called i forgot i always forget but um yeah i'm gonna be on those two things because they do the appetite appetite suppressant for you without using a harmful pill it's just a natural way of doing it and that's where she wants me to convert to the natural way so I figured by December 20th if I get off the medication I might stop before then December 15th um, and then switch to the natural way um, that's where I really want to be I don't want to be on the phenamine for longer than I have to I really feel that the phenamine is doing good it's doing its job like at times I don't even feel hungry but I make myself eat like um it was a couple of days I think Monday Monday and Tuesday I didn't eat next to nothing and by the time Wednesday got around I was starving, like starving to a point where I did eat three meals, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, because I was trying to fast until noon each day. But with being on Fitamine, I, I don't think fasting is a smart idea for me. Um, I was trying to fast to noon, and I did that for about three days. And then once, you know, Wednesday hit, I needed to eat, so I ate three meals. And to me, I'm like, okay, I ate too much, because I ate like kid-sized meals kid sized meals for each meal and I just felt like I over ate all day um, and then today I did a lot better with my eating I did fast until noon even though I don't think again being on the fitter mean I should be fasting I really don't but we'll see um, but I fasted to noon and then I ate and then I watched everything else I ate throughout the day. Um, I could say that the phenamine, it, it really does help with turning off that receptor to the food cravings. And then you have to figure out another way to, you know, you have to eat, you have to make sure you eat and your body just wants to make those better choices. Um, naturally, like I don't see myself going towards the junk food first. I see myself wanting real food first, and that's a big change for me. Have I had junk food? Yes, I, I think I ate a half a donut, and I think I had a cookie this week. Yeah, I had a cookie this week in my kid's meal, because I got a kid's meal on Wednesday. Um, so I ate a cookie on Wednesday um, in my kid's meal. It was a kid's meal cookie, and I had um, a half a donut. And I think I had like a handful of M&Ms. But for me, that's good, y'all. That is really good. Because I want to teach myself, you have to learn how to eat right, but don't fully deprive yourself. Because when you deprive yourself, once you get done, you binge. And I don't want to binge. I don't want to binge anymore. So I'm learning how to cut back portion sizes. Cutting back portion sizes, I think it's going to be my key to success. Um... So, yeah, so that's that. I'm trying to think anything else I can tell you about week two on the phenomene. I mean, I came to a realization that I'm not going to. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys my goal. Okay, my goal was on the phenomene to by um, January 1 be in Wonderland. That was like this big dream I had in my head by uh, January 1. Sorry if I look away over there. I'm sorry, guys. But my goal was by January 1 to be in Wonderland. And I can honestly see that. That goal is not going to happen. It's not realistic. It's not realistic to say you're going to lose 84 pounds in two and a half to three months. It, it It's not realistic. It's just, 
it's just not it's not a realistic plan um and the more i get into this and seeing how my body's starting to change i just know that it's not realistic and i'm not going to lose that much so i have revised my goal my goals are this um and i want to share that with you real quick my goals is by january 1 to be 237 pounds that's my goal by january 1 my goal by um april 1st is to be uh 207 pounds and then my goal by june wait no oops sorry about that guys that i had my phone did somewhere my goal by june is to be 187 pounds so those are my goals that i have for myself and i'm going to try to commit to hit, hit each and every one of them but me getting to 237 um by january 1 i haven't been 237 in seven almost eight years so that is a big goal in itself that i should be proud of so that is where i'm going that's the goal i want to hit um, I'm going to end this video. Fetamine is going great. Um, I would say if you want to get it, definitely make sure you speak to your doctor. This is not for everyone. It's not for every condition. It's not going to work for everyone. But for me so far, so good. Week two. Why do I keep looking over here? Y'all, I, I promise you, it ain't even nobody up. The kids room is next to my room. So I'm just like, I'm listening like this trying to listen to the kids you know <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna get off here week two finna mean a success we're going on to week three i i feel good like and the main thing i'm seeing a difference is in my belly like oh thank you god like my belly ain't crushing me no more okay it's every day little by little my belly's crushing me less and less okay i'm losing this 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 um uh, back-to-back -back baby belly <laughs> and i'm so happy about that so i'm gonna get off here guys i'm going to include this week's weigh-in um and then in the title of the video it'll tell you guys how much i lost now because i don't want to look like that i keep wanting to look like that to that way but um that way on a set way yeah, that way. Okay, okay. <laughs> but um, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to insert the clip of how much weight I lost um, in week two. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe. And if you're trying to lose weight, you definitely can do it. Talk to your doctor. First things first. Admit that you want to change. Make a doctor's appointment and go see your doctor. Don't do it alone because it's hard, y'all. I've tried it so many times on my own. Now I'm doing it with help. And it's, it's a lot better. So definitely go talk to your doctor. See what works best for you. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. So here are my results.